Just like a bit of ex bitch. All that chit chatting, riff ratting. Look at your outfit. The shit scattered. It's just madness. See, this is the shit that I be talking about. This shit is just weird. Steam said he was gonna bring you to my barbershop for me to fix up your bed. <laughs> I looked at your face one time. I looked at all the I looked at her face one time. That shit was getting me scared. Bitch, I'm only battling you because the niggas is scared. They are. But we gonna move this shit into a different direction. What used to be an occupation? Matter of fact, we gonna scratch that question. She probably wanted to fuck me the first day she laid eyes on me. <laughs> We're gonna, we gonna say you gonna get that blessing now. And her occupation, well let's just say we gonna get to that in the second round. I remember you, bitch. It was a rumor about you. And it wasn't about getting bread. They said it got a little thot bitch running around the army. She like a vacuum when it come down to giving head. Polo was on the line with me. I leaned back and I said, you know what, I'm gonna have to talk to her. Put some of my niggas on to her. I felt like Polo, bitch standing in front of me taking all of this torture. But on another note, I ain't gonna throw my mans under the bus. We not gonna take a hush, your size is a XL, XL, XL plus. And they love it. You can't tell me in North Carolina you be getting bread. You need to hit the gym, I'm talking like Planet Fitness, Valley Total Weight Loss, or Jenny Craig. 
Or maybe when you rap, your ghostwriter should give you a better punch. I got a gym for you. You don't need no application, it's called Crunch. <laughs> you was bugging if you thought on them songs they was talking about me when they was referring about a munch. Cause I'm far from that. Fuck around and get your favorite barber clap. Them texts on, when them texts drawn. I tried to come here dressed like your favorite restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I bust her on the face with a bib on. Call that a happy meal. She got the Ronald McDonald's wig on. That's time. It's a boy. Made it to the big leagues. Round of applause for Lisa, y'all. We're supposed to be saying congratulations. We're supposed to be saying congratulations. But see, remember in the first round, when I said we was going to chop it up about getting into your occupation? You was a foul bitch. And I'm here to expose you. So you're getting exposed. You know, like old people clothes, like sandals and toes. See, Lisa, back in the day, got some shit that was hurting her pride. She came in a battle rap to throw a couple bars around to make it hard for y'all to decide. But she's a foul bitch. And I'm going to play a game with her called Remember the Time. Remember me, Lisa? You used to be my teacher. <laughs> oh, you all know him? Wait, nah. Oh, nah. <laughs> nah. Remember him, Lisa? Nah. <laughs> you used to be his teacher. Nah. This ain't no Sunday school shit. She wasn't no preacher. I'm talking about this was a real school. My son was minding his business, trying to get, you know, his little edumacation. Lisa was there getting a check, even though she was committing fraud with a whole nother patient. <laughs> Undercover nurse, but that's besides the conversation. This bitch was a school teacher. But I ain't gonna tell you how to chill. What makes the story worse is it was a whole fire drill. So you know the bitch got frantic, 
She didn't know what to do, started pulling at her hair, started moving like a pit bull, smelling in the air, scattering all over the classroom, pushing all of the chairs. Then this young man was on the line with the rest of the students and she, she pushed them down the stairs. Her lashes gonna detach. Only thing left is gonna be them wig hairs in the back. Woo. You got a body just like a taco. You got a body like a taco body, bitch. You got a Johnny Bravo body, bitch. You got a Shrek macho macho body, bitch. You got a sumo wrestling out of control. I can't stand my body, bitch. Okay. You got a I need to go to Jenny Craig, run on the treadmill, need a better hobby, bitch. What? You do not need to be in the crib eating and writing. You need lipo. This is a nice show. It ain't even no telling where your career might go. You got the side, you got the bitch, you got the body of a Shrek over bitch. And I don't even why you came, I don't even know why you came here thinking that you sudden fly. You got a choker around your neck trying to rip a butterfly. That's getting me mad, nigga. Cause instead of a butterfly, you look more like a caterpillar. So my last words is. You got anything left to say to this duck eye bitch? Smoke, 
that leave more weed for you, for you to take more breaths. Maybe that'll break your weed, maybe that'll break your weight down. I ain't talking no greens either. For you to get some real good zop, you should holler at the king, Lisa. See what I'm not trying to do, see what I'm trying not see what I'm trying not to do is give you the answer to all of your questions. I'm better off trying to be your brother, you know, lead you in the right direction. You're not fucking Lisa. Yeah, sure ain't. That ain't ever gonna happen. So why you wanna battle me when you know I'm gonna get the snapping? You know I'm gonna get the cracking. I'm gonna give you this window later on if you get the bragging. I love you. <laughs>